providing a, a small commentary to help you try and understand what's going on. This is the screes. This is the great gully area where the rescue took place. The walker probably came down this line after having had a chat to him. And this shows where the various groups of team members were located on the crag. The drone's now flying into the screes, heading for Great Gully, coming in at the, the base of Great Gully. On the right hand side you can see the ramp, that's Devil's Slide Gate, and in the centre of the picture it's uh, Great Gully. You can't see any team members yet, but they start to appear as small dots soon. Spotters are all on the, the ramp on the right hand side. Craigfast Walker is uh, in a tree starting to come into view. And get a better picture of him in a minute. Right, that's the Craigfast Walker who got as far as that tree and then decided sensibly not to proceed any further. There's the rescuer who had to abseil down the crag with him uh, after everything had been set up. Main belays are above the casualty and we've got spotters down in the bottom of the gully as well. So this is just uh, the drone moving away from the incident site to give a better idea of the scale of the rescue. Casualty location is in the centre of the picture now. Spotters on the right hand side on the sloping slabs. That gives an idea of the height of the screes. He worked his way down there from uh, the top of the gully. Moving back in, and of course, a lot of vegetation, brambles, unstable ground, loose rock, wet, slippery. So this is one of the rescuers coming down to take the rope, an abseil rope down to the bottom of the crag, testing the line. You can now see the main belays there four or five team members on that particular task. Deep great gully to the left of them, our left, the ramp to the right. Hundred meter ropes being used for all this, plus a lot of other ropes. Quite a bit of equipment was uh, damaged and has to be replaced. Nearly 20 team members involved from two teams. Fortunately, there was no injuries, otherwise we would have had to have got the casualty on a stretcher at that location and then lowered him down to the base of the crag. Um, in that position, it's not 
safe for a helicopter to come and do a lift from that position. They would have to have lifted from probably down at the path of the f side of the lake. And many risks exist on a job like this from rocks falling down, damaging ropes, team members falling, so everybody's on ropes. That's a team member at the bottom of that abseil. That's the spotter on the right hand side on the ramp, same level as the Cragfast walker, rescuer, bee laid himself to the trees. These trees are not what I would call the most solid, although the main bee lays will have been very solid. Um, you can't afford to take any risks with main bee lays. You can see the team members in the base of the, the gully, the bottom of Great Gully. And then this shot gives an idea of how high up the screes are and how steep that slope is with wasp water uh, at the very bottom.